Hello my little sushi rolls, it's Pete from Rice Digital here, and it's Galgun Returns Day. So I thought we should play some Galgun Returns. Seems like a good idea, doesn't it? Um, I thought like we did with Honey Pop the other day, we could spend maybe an hour or so just having a quick playthrough, see what it's all about. Get to know some of the heroines, see what the gameplay's like. I mean, I know what the gameplay's like because I've played it before, but show you what the gameplay's like anyway. So we'll skip over the intro for now because you can watch that if you buy the whole game. Um, but here we go. Galgun Returns. The full version. This is the Nintendo Switch version we're playing. Uh, by the way, if you were wondering. So, first thing we always have to do in a brand new game, as you know, is check out the options menu. So let's do that. Game settings. Uh, vertical axis, normal. Crosshair speed 3. Vibration on. Subtitles on. Yep. All looks in order. Button settings, shoot is on A, docky docky mode is on X, zoom in is on right trigger. Uh, shoulder buttons will adjust the, sh the sight speed. B changes your target in docky docky carnival and you can press Y to hide the text window in the visual novel sequences. Screen settings, brightness, looks good to me. Sound, good. And you can turn the voices on and off for the different characters if you want to as well in true visual novel tradition and language settings English so it's uh, Japanese voice or nothing unless there is no dub for this right let's begin with a new story mode game and I've played my share of double P so I'm gonna go for seasoned lover right from the outset You're going to mess it up. Oh no, who could have predicted that would happen? Oh dear. Patako has indeed messed that up big time. But, well, we're just going to have to deal with it, aren't we? Morning. Good morning to you. Huh? Why? I, t I tell you one thing I have always loved about the Galgun series is the fact that I don't know what they've done, but something about the character's eyes. They've made it so that they really sort of stare deep into your soul somehow. Like, just the way they look out the camera at you. It's, it's always been a really good thing in the series. And, yeah, it's no surprise to see that here. And for it to be referenced, look into her eyes and go ba-boom. Ooh, controller's vibrating. Seriously, who the hell are you? Let's get blasting. That was easy. What the hell is going on? I'm on the case. Behold the power of my pheromone shot. Oh god, hundreds of them. Ecstasy shot! No, stop that, stop that, stop that. No, it's too many of them. Uh, 
Maybe seasoned lover was a mistake. I don't know, hard mode in double piece wasn't that difficult. Or maybe I was just really good at double piece. When did I get so popular? It doesn't make any sense. Is someone screwing around with me? Are you putting this on YouTube? Wait a sec. You're the one who told me to shoot. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, she's adorable. I can't deal with it. Huh? A, a Cupid is in like an angel? See? The eyes. Look at the eyes. They're so good. I love them. G graduate? You shot a hell of a lot more than one Cupid's arrow. See what, the lip syncing is a lot better than it was in the previous games. It's still not sort of precisely matching all of the sounds, but it is sort of um, matching the pace and rhythm of the dialogue a lot better. That's cool. More popular than necessary. That sounds like a pretty sweet deal to me. Hmm. Uh, come again? So in double piece, you get hit by an arrow that is 32 times more powerful, so it's double. See? Clever. <laughs> what the hell did you do to me, you stupid Cupid? No one can resist those eyes. Come on. Look at them. Look at them. I can't. I can't. No way! Silly boy. For starters, romance isn't something you can just force onto someone, right? It's got to be more natural. Is it also the work of angels when a gentleman's pure heart is ripped out and stomped into the ground? I'll never, ever get a girlfriend. <laughs> Girl, guy, or animal. God damn it. I don't really care about the guys or the animals for that matter, but the girl part's kind of rough. Hmm. Fine, I'll do it. That's a good face. Oh well, let my payload go, alright. Hmm. 
されてオーケーするか告白してオーケーをもらえばいいわけなのですよ I see. I feel like a new world is open to me. Rude. You don't know when to shut up, huh? It's good advice for life, that. <laughs> oh, this crap already has me exhausted. But I guess it's do or die a virgin. I like studying. Um, I actually kind of do, to be honest. Not that much. Uh, let's say five hours, though. Absolutely not. You don't want to know. So rude, but correct. <laughs> Living the lockdown life. Please, my wife is just as bad. They're in the wardrobe rather than under the bed, but how'd you know? Actually, not that many magazines. A few DVDs. I would have bumped up the ludus a bit, but otherwise that's fairly accurate. Maybe a little bit less on the intelligence front. I mean, I'm, I'm modest, after all, at least. And I definitely dropped the style down a bit. That'll do. Have to choose now. So, our choices are Kaname. You've been friends since you were kids. She's an air-headed shrine maiden who likes people that are both gentle and serious. Absolutely not a fan of show-offs and perverts. We've got Akira, who is a girl with a burning heart of justice who you've known since middle school. She doesn't care too much about people's grades, but she can't stand those as sedentary or vulgar. That's me right out then. Uh, Karako, who is the upperclassman you look up to and the most popular gal on campus. She likes people who are smart, clean and fashionable and is surprisingly tolerant of lewd behaviour. Oh, we've got Aori, who is uh, the shopkeeper in Galgun Double Piece. She is a peppy underclassman with rock and roll in her soul. She has a really hard time with academics. She likes guys who are manly yet cool. She doesn't mind a little lewdness. Hey, you know what, I've been playing like the past three Galgun games. Um, past two Galgun games, rather. Um, and Karako is sort of referenced all over the place there's like a statue of her that is um 
uh, sort of the first time you see it in double piece it's in the school courtyard but then over the course of the rest of the series it keeps showing up in weirder and weirder places like in galgun 2 it's in a toilet stall one of the bosses in double piece has eaten it at one point so i want to know who carico is i want to get to know the real carico Okay, I'll go confess to Karako Senpai. Hold up. Shouldn't my future be the bigger priority here? Not very angel like of you, Patako. They know. They know what they're doing with the eyes. They know exactly what they're doing. Look at them. Anyway, yeah, sure. Will it work out, though? Karako Senpai is the only daughter of a mega rich family and a great artist. She's so high above me. How would she look at a schlep like me and think, yep, that right there is the guy for me, you know? Fair enough. Damn, you really know how to pour salt in the wound. Anyway, what are you going to do? Tag along with me all day? How convenient. All right, so I actually don't know a ton about how this specific game works because uh, I know it's got a few differences from how Double Piece did things. Um, and I think there might be a little bit more emphasis on using your stats because your stats in Double Piece were mostly relevant for the true love mode. Um, whereas in this one, I think you might need to do a little bit more with them to get through the various routes. Now, if you've not played Galgon before, it works like this. As you move your cursor around, you'll notice the um, the little onomatopoeias popping up when you move the cursor over various points on the girl's bodies. Uh, and that indicates that if you shoot them there, that will give them an ecstasy shot, which is basically a one-shot, quote-unquote, kill. So if it's pink, it's their legs. If it's yellow, it's their stomach. If it's uh, orange, it's around their chest. And if it's red, it's their head. So you can use that sort of color coding um, to figure out where you need to shoot. And if you can read katakana, you can also use the actual words that are being said, because it's a different word for each uh, body part. So like there, for example, we've got kyun for the boobies. We've got... I uh, can't remember what that one is. My katakana is rusty. Anyway, it's, it's a different word in Katakana for every body part. And that can help you to, to recognize them. So um, if you can't remember the colors or if you're colorblind or something like that, you can sort of use pattern recognition to remember it instead. And you'll see that they'll attack you in various ways as well. Uh, so they will try and come up close to you and give you love letters. Uh, they'll try and grab you and kiss you if it's anything like Double Piece. Uh, or they'll shout strings of Japanese characters at you. Um, most of the time it's just a case of you have to um, hit them or take them out completely before they do any damage to you. But in the case of when they're doing the ranged attacks, the shouting the Japanese characters at you, you can actually shoot those characters out of the air. And if you shoot the character that's red, it will take out the entire attack in one go. So I'm sure we will see more opportunities to see that happen as we go. And you'll notice that each girl has got a name and a distinctive appearance. And they are all distinct and unique characters rather than being randomly generated or anything like that. So as you play through the game, you can get to know the different characters. Um... 
Learn what they all look like. Learn where their weak points are. And if you want to be a Gal Gun Pro, you'll need to learn all of those so that you can take them out quickly and without taking damage, because that's how you get the the best scores and the best ratings. Just to see if you actually take out someone who is shouting at you, um, that will actually take out their attack as well. So you don't actually have to shoot down the attack if you don't want to. You can just... Oops. And you see, if you don't take them out with that initial shot as a ecstasy shot, um, then hitting them in their weak point will not give you an ecstasy shot after that. So you need one shot, one kill as much as possible. But sometimes that's... Oh my god, hundreds of them. Sometimes that's just not possible though. Because you might also need to shoot them to interrupt their attacks. Ow. Oh, missed the one back there. And you can zoom in to try and uh, get it stuff in the background as well. In double piece, you could sort of see through certain objects by doing the zoom in attack as well. Uh, we'll see if that's the case there. Now then, where could Karako Senpai be? Ow. What the hell? Why'd you shove me? Here she is. Kaoruko Senpai. She knows my name. Ahem. <clears throat> Good morning, Kaoruko Senpai. Is it just me, or have you stepped up security today? Hmm? Did I miss something? Well, about that. It might look that way, but make no mistake. Yes? Yesterday. Let's see. Come on, Tenzo, think! Wait a sec. No! Oh, crap! I forgot that Karako Senpai told me to meet her in the art room after class yesterday. Yep. No, not at all. I don't want to die. Uh, an excuse? Oh, God. Um... Need to try and remember a character profile now. What would be the best of those? Loads of homework just sounds like an excuse. Bad case of amnesia. I doubt she'll bite on that one. But I say I had some makeup lessons. That's a good noise. I had to do some makeup lessons. I know, right? Ah, uh, Karako Senpai, please hold up a sec. Senpai, I finally summoned up the courage to ask you this, and I... I need to know. What do you think of me today? <laughs> um... 
She's surprisingly tolerant to lewd things, so let's say a lewd thing. You, you getting all hot and bothered? Good noise. Am I making you all hot and bothered? <laughs> um, you see, saying somebody's hot and bothered is referring to the rise in body temperature caused by sexual over. <laughs> that was exactly three lines as well. I love it. Well, oh, Patako san, Angel Trini, Patako san. Nice use of Murgurgur there, even if that's not what she said. Why isn't my popular working on Karako Senpai? I need all the deets right now. Your sass is absolutely maddening. If it doesn't work on her, then what's the friggin' point? Yeah, that's great and all, but how are we going to fix this mess? I'm not filled with confidence. Oh dear, this won't end well. <laughs> Objective! Fill up Karako's lovey-dovey gauge. Let those furman shots fly until Karako gets all lovey-dovey. Better watch out though, because Guardians are protecting her. As long as the Guardians are there, Karako's aura will keep the lovey-dovey gauge from budging. Those Guardians will even return fire. First things first, you got to get rid of those Guardians. Then it's time to hit her with your furman shot and get her all lovey-dovey. All right, bring it on. Those character models are really nice, actually. All I need to do is shoot like crazy. I'll make Karako lovey-dovey with my pheromone shot. You watch me. Uh, shoot. Just shoot. All right, I've got this. Wait, what the? It's a guardian. What? What are those? Are they protecting Karako? Whatever. If I can just make Karako fall for me, I can get through this. So you got to blast them out of the way before you can actually hit Karako and increase the gauge at all. Now, if it's anything like the Doki Doki stuff in Double Piece, um, there are specific parts of Karako's body that will be worth more points on the gauge. Oh, God. So to get through these sequences efficiently, this is presumably something you want to do, um, you'll want to hit the appropriate body point, body parts. <sighs> oh, she's got to be almost there by now. Oh no! No way! Didn't work at all. Excellent job. Nice. I'll take it. Rank F. Where I belong. I don't get it. Why won't it work on Karako Senpai? Come again? What are those? Um, hmm. My humblest apologies. 
She's cute. Look at that smile. Oh, I made the right choice. Patiko-san, place your feet upon the street. If you could stand up straight, that would be real neat. Come on, just humor me and do it. Okay, it's time to talk strategy. Why is nothing working on Karako-senpai? And what exactly are Guardians anyway? This is kind of similar to a plot point in Double Piece, where a lot of the characters had a sort of secret that they were carrying around with themselves, and that was blocking off their heart from um, Hodai, the, the protagonist, and that one being able to get close to them. So this is a similar sort of idea from the look of things, but it sort of incorporates people around them as well as the things that they are carrying in their own heart. But it, I suspect there will probably be some things in their own heart uh, to do with this as well. Seriously? What in the world am I supposed to do then? Oh, it's that easy. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Patiko. Hmm. I'm going to have to work some sort of miracle if I want to pull this off. Well, I'm glad someone's feeling positive. Karaka Senpai, I know you're way out of my league, but I... Points! Your compatibility isn't quite there yet. Don't give up. So, presumably we just, we just need to score more points, I guess. To get the true endings in double piece, you have to get the higher ranks. Um, so I assume it's something similar here. So we can try that again, or we can move on to the next, or we can just save our game and return to the title. Let's continue for now. We're going to play this for about an hour or so. In total. That should give you a good idea of how it all works and what it's like. So, to see Karako Senpai, I've got to go to the third year classroom while dealing with those bodyguards, huh? Really got me in the pressure cooker. Harsh but fair. No. You're right. I like Patiko. She got a, she got a bit of sass about her, but she's also she gets things done, but she's also got a certain human element to her as well, which is really nice. That was something I really liked about Echo in Double Piece as well. Echo's in this as well. I'm not sure... I don't know the original um, PS3 and Xbox releases of this very well, so I don't know if she was in the original uh, or if she's been sort of backported into this. Uh, but either way, I love Echo, mostly because of her voice actor, which is uh, Yui Hori, who does um, Nepgear in the Neptunia series. She's one of my favourite voice actresses. Oh, hello. Oh. Oops. Broke my combo. Actually, I don't know if you have... It doesn't look like you have a combo in this. It just seems to count how many ecstasy shots you did in total at the end of the level, so... So I guess it doesn't matter too much. 
but you still want to try and get as many ecstasy shots as you can. Hello. Hello. Morning. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm having a lovely time. Yeah, you can trigger Doki Doki mode in the middle of a level as well. And if you use that correctly, it acts kind of like a smart bomb. Um, I don't know how much that affects your score, but it also affects your stats, which is the, kind of the main reason you might want to use it. Because if your stats aren't at quite the right levels for the various routes, um, then you'll need to use Doki Doki mode in order to manipulate them somewhat. But that's also another reason why you might want to get to know the various girls, because each girl affects your stats a little bit differently. Thanks, Patico. Alright, what's next? Because I'm ready for it. This is fun. I'm having a good time at this. I've, I've always liked the Galgun games. They've always got this really nice atmosphere about them. The sort of cheerfulness, but they... It's not sort of throwaway meaningless cheerfulness. There is sort of like a, a point to them. Uh, it's, it's one of those series where... It, It always feels very clear that the characters have been designed by people who genuinely have some affection and feelings for them. Like, they, they care about them and depicting them as sort of fun and interesting people. I mean, that, that might not necessarily come across in the middle of... Ouch. That might not necessarily come across in the middle of gameplay while you're just trying to fend them off and prevent them from... Uh, doing whatever it is they do but if you take the time to sort of look at their profiles and interact with them on an individual basis and that sort of thing you'll see that each of them has been thought through in a nice amount of depth each of these girls is is a character with a background and a story and a personality and all that sort of thing and that's one of the things i really 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 like about this series And the different games have always allowed you to explore that in different ways. So in Galgun Double Peace, you had the um, the true love mode where you could date any of the main cast. Oh, sorry, any of the extended cast, I should say. The main cast were like, oops. Dating the main cast was like the, the main story routes. Um, and then you could date any of the extended cast in the true love mode by building up your stats to the appropriate levels. Hello. Ow, oh, God, help. Where's your... Do you not have a... Oh, you do have a weak spot. I just couldn't find it for some reason. Yeah, that could have been nasty. <laughs> Are you impressed? <laughs> it's got to be that one, isn't it? I am huge! It's because I'm huge! Oh, that's not right. You know I can't say it out loud! <laughs>
Nah. Oh, I just can't. This mop friggin' reeks. Oh, is that sour milk? Uh, uh, do nothing. I am making all the right choices today. <sighs> yes, we do. She wasn't... Don't just kill Karako Senpai off. It's such a cursed thing to say, you stupid Cupid. Sure thing. I'm on the case. And ready to go. <sighs> I was expecting more resistance from Karako but it seems she's like has some genuine kind of pre-existing affection for Tenzo which is nice it's a nice change from the usual sort of Sundere trope which I was expecting all right here we go hello good morning uh hello yes Oh, you're cute. I like you. Missed. Sorry. Sorry. Hey. Oh. Stop hitting me with Japanese. Oh, I'm very low on health. don't think you can restore health either. So I just have to not get hit for the rest of the level. Easy peasy. Ugh. Jump scare. Run. Run, Tenzo, run. Now it's time for a Doki Doki mode. Uh, maybe. Yes. There we go. Right, let's try this out. See what that does. I don't think it will restore your health, but it will affect stats. Let's move the site all around until you see a big one of them pop up. Ducky, 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 ducky. Right, so in this sequence, you have to find the various areas that make a big ducky pop up. And then hold down the trigger to zoom in on them, and then fire off a shot to increase that gauge over on the left. But if you t if you spend too long staring at one point, they will start guarding that point, as you see, so you can't do anything with it. Uh, and obviously you have to do it before the time expires as well, which is represented by the heart meter. Once the gauge is full, you can perform a Doki Doki finish with X. There we go. And then she should explode in pleasure. So that gives me more intelligence, less athleticism, and her profile. Okay, so that's the reason why you want to do it as well. It gets you her profile. And I think her costume as well. And then she blows up and takes anyone nearby out with her as well. Right, so we want to be doing that a bit more. Like right now, for example. I do indeed intend to analyze you. So please allow me to stare at your thighs. And a bit of your bum. 
Uh, what do you like? Your face! You have a very sexy nose. Also, your tits aren't bad. Sorry, too far. I love the back of your knees, they're the best. Oh, come on. Okay, don't you finish? There we go. Doesn't give you a button prompt, so you just have to keep an eye on the meter. Well, I'm now super intelligent and completely unathletic. Kaboom! Lovely stuff. Who's next? Oh, you do get health back. Okay. Alright, that's all good to know. Looks like those bodyguards aren't around. Ah! Damn it. The entrance is blocked off. I can't let them catch me, so going in through the front is out of the question. I guess I'm climbing the wall. It's the obvious solution, isn't it? Obvious solution. Oh, to be young again. Young and in love. Yeah, I'm having a good time with this so far. And if you collect the girls' profiles by doing Doki Doki mode with them, that is a lot of stuff to unlock. Because there's like 80 of them all together. I love the way the camera moves in these games, just because... Like, you, you never actually see... Tenzo doing stuff, but just the the implications from the camera angles are always hilarious because he's like here he's obviously just <laughs> so sneaking up the side of the building and peeping into this corridor here. Stop moving your viewpoint. <laughs> Here we are just sort of shimmying along the outside of the building. It's brilliant. I love it. There's just so much... These games are just so incredibly likeable. Uh, let's ducky ducky you, because you're standing right in the middle. Not that it matters. Hello! Whoops. Where do you like... On right in the middle of your back. I saw your pants then. Oh, that was a big old shot we got there. Apparently, I have a type. <laughs> Kaboom! Bakan! Nicely done. Alright, now what? Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, God. Ow. Stop it. Stop. Ow! It's not like I like you or anything. <laughs> ducky ducky! You've got huge eyes. Mildly terrifying, but also I kind of like it. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit too into this, aren't I? <laughs> I 
This is the thing, though. Like, as well as being sort of endearingly cute and a bit lewd and all that sort of thing, these games are really mechanically solid as well. They're really interesting and fun to play. I mean, that's where sort of the the pedigree of Inti Creates comes in. Because they're really good at making really good games. And when you combine that talent for making really good games with making fun and interesting characters and enjoyable stories and a bit of lewdness, you get basically the perfect game. <laughs> We're here! Ugh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. So, uh, what did you need? Wait, what? Me? Well, Karako, it's because, I must confess, I fancy you. Well, I do know someone in the art club. <laughs> Super manly ninja Tenzo. You want to see? You sure? Great minds. Yes. Huh? I'm sorry. Huh? By model, you meant a nude model. <laughs> I want to do the first one, but I'm not going to. Calmly. Okay, I'll do it. It's only embarrassing if I act embarrassed, right? I just got to keep it together. Well, this is the last frontier. You want me to tick this off too? Uh, there, it's gone. Oh lordy. Okay, this will probably be the last thing we do today. Karika needs you to model for her paintings in the nude. Make the pose she tells you and hold it until she's finished. Once you have your instruction, choose the pose you think is best. She'll get mad if you choose the wrong one, though. Once you choose your pose, that's where the real battle against drowsiness begins. Shoot the sheep before they reach the other side of the screen, or you'll be asleep before you know it. Sheep take a few shots before they go down, but if you shoot the exclamation mark point, it only takes one shot. Choose the wrong pose or fall asleep, and Karako's satisfaction gauge will fall. She'll be absolutely furious if it reaches zero. So in these sequences, I don't think you have to fill up the gauge completely, but you, you do have to make sure that it doesn't expire completely. Oh, okay. Oh, the music in this bit is the same as the sort of event sequences in double piece as well that's nice it's a different mix of it wakey wakey Denzo
Uh -oh. It's fine. There's there's nothing wrong here. Everything's everything's fine, Karako. It's absolutely, definitely, positively, completely fine. Everything. Uh oh. No. It's it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Oh god. So many of them. <laughs> that was deceptively simple at the beginning, but it got very intense towards the end. I can relax. Thank God. See what I mean about the camera angle? It's just a subtle shift there. It just says so much. Lie down on your elbow. That'll be that one. I'm going to go ahead and guess that you have to do this three times. <laughs> Again, the camera angles. It's just so good. Oh, she's so attractive. Sorry. Um, I know I'm not alone in this, at least. Right. Bring it on. Right. See? It's nice and easy to begin with. You just gotta hit the sheep nice and accurately, and then you. Oh, shit! And then you just won't have any problems. I think the thing to do is if you miss a shot, you've just gotta blast away really quickly because they do freeze for a moment before they leg it across the screen. And it's okay to let a couple through because you don't need to be perfect. You just need to make sure that gauge doesn't drain. Alright, now what? I can take it. Whatever, whatever you need, Karago. <laughs> that was <laughs> too quick. Can't expect me to make decisions about being cool. Spread your arms and stand on one leg. All right. Right, I assume this is the last one because it's normally three lots for these sort of event sequences. But this will probably also be the most challenging one. I only got to survive a minute though. Let's take our time. Carefully shoot. I'm not blushing, I'm concentrating. Uh-oh. 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 Oh god, there's so many of them. Help! Oh no, I think I've... Oh, it was going so well up until that point as well. Oh, God. I thought I'd failed. But apparently you get a few chances. Oh, that was tricky. <laughs> yeah, I need 10,000 points for that. 
you get 25,000 points if you do it sort of quote unquote perfectly. Oh dear. Yeah, that was a challenge. But a fun one. Nice and intense. It was a good decision to play on the hard difficulty level. Yeah. Yeah. No. Don't look at me. Because I'm naked. Come on. I can't help it. Hey, wait. My clothes. My clothes. Wait a sec. Senpai, what's going on with you today? Troublesome circumstances? What does that mean? Oh. Huh? Uh, what now? Ow, 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 ow! Don't pull me by the ear, it's sensitive! Rico Senpai. Um, hmm. Let's think of a plan. Wrong choice. It's the only wrong choice I've made today. How's your security? Do you have a perfect defense plan? Not enough. Let me help you. Nah. Compatibility isn't quite there yet. Don't give up. All right. Okay. I think we'll leave that there for the minute. That's a couple of stages of Karako's route in Galgun Returns. Hope you enjoyed that. The game is out uh, today because today is Friday. Um, so you can pick it up uh, digitally on Steam or the Nintendo eShop. Uh, or you can still order the Birthday Suit Edition from the Rice Digital Store. There's a link to do just that down in the video description. Uh, so make sure you do that, because if you've watched my unboxing video, you'll know there's a lot of really nice goodies in there. So for now, it just remains for me to say, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. <laughs>